What's up guys? It's Princess Poop. I know I haven't done a video in a while. I think the last video I did was my line bag haul from Walgreens. Um, and I'm not quite sure if I did the two parts of that video or if I did or if I did um just one part. But this video is kind of going to be a multitude of different things. Um, I went to New York a couple weekends ago with my family, and we did a couple things there. I have a short little story time to tell you guys, and it's just more of like advice for if you go to New York. Um, I've been a couple times, but the the most recent time I went was with my school for a band trip, so I really haven't been in a while. Um, but this video is going to be mainly what I got in New York. It's going to be a short story time. And then there's going to be a couple hauls mixed in there. Like I went to Target and... Like things that I bought at Amazon and some stuff that I was gifted. So let me stop talking and let's get into the video. So the first thing is the shirt that I'm wearing. It is a red M and M t-shirt. And the reason I wanted to get this was because for Halloween when I was up in Vermont for school, me and my roommate, we were M&Ms for Halloween because we are both named Emily. So I was the red M&M and she was the blue. So I went to M&M World in New York, in Manhattan, and I got this t-shirt. And it was really cool because it was originally like $24 or $26. I ended up getting it for $10. I have my receipt in here. Yeah, the shirt ended up being ten dollars. And then I'm obsessed with press pennies. And I was running out of um space in my press penny book that I have now. So I bought a new press penny book which cost five ninety five. And then, with my purchase, they asked if I wanted to add, like, $2 on and buy the tote bag. So, I bought the M&M World tote bag. So, in M&M World, there are three different penny machines with four designs in each. I did all three. And like I said, I paid for the penny book because I didn't have space in my other one. That's the stuff from Eminem. And then I went to Target. <coughs> and then we went to this Grand Slam New York, um, like, souvenir shop, and I bought a I Love New York shot glass for my friend. <coughs> also, while we were in New York, I bought this Funko Pop, and it's just Hermione Granger in her Gryffindor robe. And I, I didn't have her yet, so when I was in the store, I saw her, and I was like, I have to get her, because I am a Harry Potter fanatic. Next, we're going to go to the items that I picked up at Target, when I went with my grandmother yesterday. And at Target, I just bought... These, they are Harry Potter 
Namco medals figures. So I have Marcus Flint, who is the uh, Slytherin Quidditch team captain. We have Minerva McGonagall, Draco Malfoy, Harry Potter, of course, and another Albus Dumbledore. I have two Albus Dumbledores because I didn't, like, I thought my mom was going to get me this pack for my birthday, and she didn't, so I had gone out and bought multiple um, individual ones, and then when I was at Target with my grandmother, I saw that they were on clearance, so I had to pick one up. Next, we're moving on to... Um, I bought on Amazon, so I was really happy to receive. I bought the Bellatrix Lestrange Funko Pop. Bellatrix is one of my favorite characters from Harry Potter, and I had to get her. Because I probably would not have found her in any store that I went to. So looking on Amazon was probably my best bet. And I have her wand. So I want to get her. And the last item that I have in here is my Hermione Granger Funko Pop. I know I already had showed you one, but this is Hermione in her U-Ball dress. And my little cousin, Lulu, had had this because she thought she was pretty, which she is, but she said I could have it because I'm a more, like, diehard Harry Potter fan than she is. Alright, that's all for the video. Thank you for watching. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you like this video. Bye!